Hi, my name is Geeta and let me introduce you to Meru. Of course, it's not his real name, but maybe it doesn't matter. Meru lived 4000 years ago in a place called Harappa in the Indus Valley. His great great ancestors were hunter gatherers. That means they traveled from place to place hunting animals and gathering wild fruits and plants, but Meru was not like them. He did farming like other people in his city and grew fruits such as grapes and melons and field crops such as wheat and peas. But how do we know this? Okay, we have archaeological evidences, but honestly, we do not know for sure and love to make guesses. Mm, did I mention that I'm an archaeologist? It would have been great if Meru could come in your history class and explain his life details, but instead you have to rely on our findings. People of his civilization are called Harappans and were spread over large parts of western region of the Indian subcontinent. We found terracotta models of the plow at sites in Cholistan and at Banavli in Haryana. So we think that they used a plow to till the soil. We also found seals and terracotta sculptures of bulls which indicate that oxen were used for plowing. Plowed fields were excavated at Kalipangan in Rajasthan with two sets of furrows at right angles to each other which indicate that two crops were grown at the same time. Some people of his civilization lived in semi-arid land where water was scarce and made canals from rivers leading to farmland. They also took water from underground well to irrigate their field. We also found a water reservoir in Dholavira, Gujarat, which was used to collect and store rainwater for irrigation. Meru was lucky as he lived near a river which was often flooded but it was actually good because it made the soil rich and he could grow lots of food. He planted different crops in winter when the soil was soft and damp and different ones in summer when the soil was hot and dry. Did you know that we found seals with pictures of unicorns? We don't know if it was a real animal or mythical. Maybe it was Meru's pet.